gates of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most need of your mercy. The fourth joyful mystery is the presentation of the baby in the temple. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end, amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most need of your mercy. The fifth joyful mystery is the finding of the child Jesus in the temple. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end, amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most need of your mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy toward us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, Mary, Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech thee, that by meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise. Through the same Christ, our Lord, amen. And may the divine assistance remain always with us, and may the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace, amen. For the intentions, protection, and continued healing of our Holy Father, Pope Francis. Together we pray, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end, amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, amen. And we conclude with the prayer to St. Michael. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls, amen. And may Almighty God bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to life everlasting, amen. Thank you very much. Good Saint Anne. Pray for us. Testing one, ha. Ah. Testing one, ha. Ah.
say again? Are you writing down numbers? I am writing down numbers.
Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Happy feast day. Could I just have your attention for a, one moment, please? I know everyone is so excited, and so am I. If I could just have your attention for a few minutes here um, before we get started. We just wanted to ask everyone to silence your cell phones, please. So take them out, silence, airplane mode, whatever works for you. And also, if you have your Bluetooth on, if you could turn the Bluetooth off on your phone, because strangely enough, it is interfering with our live stream. So all the people at home are getting a really cool sports entertainment while mass is happening. So if you know how to do that, please do. If you don't, ask your neighbor. They probably can help you.
their symbol anyway. Good morning. Welcome to St. Anne Church. Today's Mass is in celebration of the solemnity of St. Anne. Our presider this morning is Bishop Gregory Studerus. Would you please stand and join us in singing hymn number 200, Hail Holy Queen. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, 
We're pl privileged to have with us today to celebrate our Mass of uh, St. Joachim, don't forget St. Joachim, and St. Anne, Bishop Gregory Studeris, who's relatively still a new bishop. Uh, he came to celebrate the Sacrament of Confirmation with our children earlier this year, and uh, we're very blessed to have him as our shepherd in Hudson County. He has the true heart of a shepherd. So we welcome Bishop Gregory. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Father Remo, I thank you for your welcome. I will tell you in my homily why this, why this is a particular feast for me also. But what a joy it is for me to be with you, to see the church packed full, which is new, right? We're coming back together to share our faith in the wonder and the mystery of Jesus Christ, born of the Virgin Mary, grandson, of St. Anne and St. Joachim. So let us for a moment remember our own sinfulness, our own needs for God's mercy and compassion and ask pardon for our sins. For Lord Jesus, you came to call sinners to yourself and the Father's love. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to heal those who are sorry for sin and make them whole. Christ, have mercy. Christ have mercy. And you plead for us even now with the right hand of God our Father. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the Let us pray. O Lord, God of our fathers, who bestowed on Saints Joachim and Anne this grace, that of them should be born the mother of your incarnate Son. Grant through the prayers of both that we may attain the salvation you have promised to your people. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Sirach. Now will I praise those godly men, our ancestors, each in his own time. These were godly men whose virtues have not been forgotten. Their wealth remains in their families, their heritage with their descendants. Through God's covenant with them, their family endures, <coughs> their posterity for their, state, their sake. And for all time, their progeny will endure their glory will never be blotted out. Their bodies are peacefully laid away, but their names live on and on. At gatherings, 
their wisdom is retold, and the assembly proclaims their praise. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Blessed are your eyes because they see, and your ears because they hear. Amen, I say to you, many prophets and righteous people long to see what you see but did not see it, and to hear what you hear but did not hear it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you. So I'm, I'm thrilled that I was invited to this. But I thought, what do I know about St. Anne? And I went looking, and I found very little, right? There's very little, very little that is much definition 
to who she was as a person and to know what St. Anne did other than our tradition that she is the mother of Mary. So how do we preach? How do we consider St. Anne? How do we try to understand why we celebrate her and why she is such an important patron to all of us? I think this is a key. She was a grandmother. And grandmothers are very special in our lives. And I would challenge you to stop and think about your grandmother, your favorite grandmother. You always have two, theoretically, and maybe you better not be choosing one or the other. At least don't tell me about it. I remembered my grandmother. Excuse me for getting personal. My grandmother lived just a block away from where I grew up. And so my mother would say, listen, go over and see Nanny. That was her name for me. And I used to go over and I would get in the house and I would see her. She was quite old already. And I would see her sitting in a rocking chair with a lamp over her head, reading the newspaper with only half of her eyeglasses because they were broken and she refused to go out and get new glasses. And she'd be sitting there like this, reading the paper. She would not let me kiss her. Oh, forget all that stuff, she'd say. But then she would get up and she'd go to the kitchen and she would fry hot dogs for me, slit down the middle and serve me wonderfully. Right here, right? Can't be forgotten. Annie G. Gallagher, Annie. She loved Anne so much she gave my mother the name Anne. So Anne is very special to me. It seems to me that if we would like to really cherish St. Anne, we need to look at the people who touch our lives with kindness, with gentleness, with service, with dedication, with faith, and the self-giving of themselves to do whatever is God asking of them. My grandmother was a single mother. Her husband died in, I think, 1916. She raised two children. She gave of herself. She was there for my mother and her brother in service, in kindness, in guidance, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. <clears throat> I'm not here to canonize my grandmother. I'm here to say that if we really would like to understand the saints, who we know factually very little about, any one of them, but especially one like Anne and Joachim, we need to think of all those virtues, all those wonderful things that we have seen in the people that have touched our hearts. And the wonderful things, the virtues that we see in them, that's how we begin to understand the virtue of the saints. That's how we begin to understand and imagine St. Anne, faithful, dedicated, ready to do the will of God in whatever way is necessary that she would be able to bring to birth the mother of God, the mother of God, and to see that she would be presented to the Lord and given to the Lord, not just because she brought her to the temple, but because she prepared her to face the challenges the great challenges that the mother of God, Mary, had to face. So I would say, as we celebrate the Lord Jesus Christ right here, I would say it's a good idea to reflect on the grandmother of Jesus. 
and imagine her and believe that our imagination about that kind of person, the person who could touch lives and do the will of God, imagine those people that you have known and apply their virtue and their image to her as we celebrate her. And as we understand, she had this most incredible and wonderful role in the history of the salvation that God gives to us. The history of God sending his love, his perfect love into the world, giving us his son through an immaculate conception by the daughter of Anna Joka. Imagine those people today that touched your hearts. Let them all be part of, as the scripture says, let them all be part of this celebration as we thank Anne and Joachim and as we thank one another for every moment when we have seen the love of God presented to us. Let us pray. And let us now offer to God our prayers for our needs and indeed for the needs of the whole world. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For all members of the church, may God grant us fortitude in facing the daily challenges that come with being a disciple of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those in civil authority, may the grace of God guide them in their leadership roles, to give them wisdom and courage, to care for the most vulnerable members of our society, from the moment of conception to natural death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear yeah. our prayer. For those who are sick, may the Lord pour out his mercy on their hearts and give them hope. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear yeah. our prayer. For all present, may we grow in faith, hope, and love through the grace of our baptism and these sacred mysteries. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who have died with the sign of faith, may they come to know refreshment, rest, and peace in the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the people of this parish, St. Anne, whom we remember and pray for during this Mass, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all the intentions of our parish family and for the intentions we offer now in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our Lord. prayer. God of salvation, we give you thanks. In your goodness, listen kindly to the prayers that we have offered through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please join us in singing hymn number 644, Give Me Ears to Listen. Let me be your servant, let me walk your way. Guide me on your path give me the light of day let me be a sure foundation pure and strong let me tell
Pray then, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, we pray, O Lord, these offerings of our homage, and grant that we may merit a share in the same blessing which you promised to Abraham and his descendants through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just. It is our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you are praised in the company of your saints, and in crowning their merits, you crown your own gifts. By their way of life, you offer us an example. By communion with them, you give us their companionship. By their intercession, sure support, so that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as victors in the race before us and win with them the imperishable crown of glory through Christ our Lord. And so with the angels and all the archangels, with the great multitude of the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim.
indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things, and you make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts that we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For in the night that he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, he broke the bread, and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and this living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, we may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Anne, Saint Joachim, Saint Francis, Saint Pio, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, his assistant bishops, the Order of Bishops, Remo, our pastor, and all the clergy, religious, and lay ministers, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O oh merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and all to our, who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the 
Savior's command, formed by his divine teaching, we dare to pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. And Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And so we offer one another the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to share in the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Father's great amen to all the hopes and dreams of every heart. Peace be and all tell and freedom from all
Christ. Body of 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 Christ.
Let us pray. O God, who willed that your only begotten Son should be born from among humanity, so that by a wonderful mystery, humanity might be born again from you. We pray that in your kindness, you may sanctify by the spirit of adoption those who have fed, you have fed with the bread that you give to your children. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please be seated for one second. Well, maybe more than one second. If you, if you ever heard me talk before, you know that's a lie. Uh, just a, just a, a couple things like we always do, it, I think, at this point of the, of the feast. Uh, just for, first, I want to acknowledge our dignitaries who are here, uh, Mayor Bala, and all the uh, civic leaders for our city and for the county who may be present. You know me, I, I don't say all the names because I, I forget and I don't want to leave anybody out, but uh, I want to acknowledge Mayor Bala. And uh, also for our... Uh, are visiting priests, uh, members of our province, friars, but also uh, members of the archdiocese. Uh, thank you for being here with us today and, and sharing our joy, as always. And um, a shout out to all uh, who have been making the feast such a, a success these past days. First of all, God, <laughs> right? We've been blessed uh, with uh, good weather. We've been blessed with uh, good health, thank God. Uh, we've been blessed with um, good people to come and, and, and share and celebrate with us. Uh, I want to thank, and especially all the volunteers. Uh, we have a cast of thousands who, who, who are pouring out blood, sweat, and tears every day, working really, really hard uh, to make the feast a success. And we've been slammed with people, right? With the, which is a good thing. We're very happy with that. But so for all our volunteers, I want to thank you. Uh, we couldn't do it without you. Uh, to our Holy Name Society members. Uh, you guys always come through in the, in the clutch, and uh, I know we had such a beautiful beginning to this uh, celebration on the first night of the Novena when you brought, uh, brought her in so eloquent, eloquently and, and, and beautifully, and I know uh, we'll continue that as we now end toward the, towards the last part of, the, of our celebration, our procession, and uh, our, our last night of the feast. Also want to extend my gratitude to all the members of our St. Anne's Guild. You guys always, as always, make the day very special uh, with, your, with your faith and your witness and your presence and all the hard work you do also to prepare for the feast and celebrate the feast with us. So thank you very much. <laughs> also like to acknowledge and, and, and welcome uh, our Padre Pio prayer group who is here with us tonight, today. And uh, they're celebrating the 20th anniversary as a, as a society in the parish. So, Congratulations, and uh, thank you. Also, just uh, today we have, uh, we have a, a special presentation to make uh, before we conclude the Mass. Um, as you know, to make the feast run, it's a huge undertaking. <laughs> it really is. And when I was made pastor here nine years ago, I was like, oh, man, I got to do the feast. I mean, I love the feast. But it's easy, it's easy to come as a priest and preach, right, and celebrate and get all the love, and then you just go and eat zeppelin after everyone. But when you're the pastor, you got to oversee all that. And when Father Vinny, before he was pastor here, he had a full head of hair, and you could see what happened to him. <laughs> Three years pastor. But, um, but well, I, my, to my great surprise and relief, I found out there's a committee here that does everything. Everything. Everything's done. I have to sign checks, you know, greet people, give blessings, those kinds of things. So... But this past year, we, we, we lost a member, uh, a foundational member of the parish and uh, of the feast. And uh, all of you know Marie Tataro. And uh, from 19, yes. <laughs> it seems so strange to be here today and not see her face, right? Uh, this whole time, this has been really... Uh, Strange, let's put it that way. But I, but I told the committee when we started meeting, we we're talking about where we're going to do it, or can we, should we apply to have the feast? We, and we decided to do it. Uh, and I said, but you watch. This year, this feast is going to be one of the best we've ever had. <laughs> and it's true, because I know somebody very special is praying for us, and that will be Marie Tataro. So uh, 
uh, from 1990 to 2020, basically, she was uh, really the face of the feast in many ways. And, uh, and we're still having people, you know, reach out to us and uh, share special memories of, of Marie. So what we've done is um, she was very big with an award that we really used to give each feast, like an Italian-American uh, Achievement Award for those who have, uh, you know, given a good example of uh, uh, living their faith and, uh, and fulfilling their civic duties. And so um, we decided to give that award to her this year and also to name that award in her honor going forward. Okay, so... I we've also... Um, We've also, in our memorial pavers outside in front of the Shrine of St. Anne, we have, a, we have a paver dedicated to, to Marie, and it's right in front of the statue. She got first place in line, uh, so she'll be, she'll be very happy with that. But I'd I like to invite up uh, Ro and Fran, uh, Marie's daughters, just to, to come and just to receive this um, appreciation on our part of the gift that your mother was and is to our parish. I'm going, to read to, I'm going to read to you what it says. It says, St. Anne, Italian American Heritage Award, presented in loving memory of Marie Tataro, with heartfelt gratitude and appreciation for promoting and preserving Italian culture, traditions, and Catholic values through her dedicated service and selflessness as chairwoman of the St. Anne Italian Festival, 1990 to 2020. So. Okay, I'm almost done. Last thing, last but not least. Um, you know, you could sit down for a second, one more second. As we began the feast, when the first night of the feast, I, I, I made mention in my homily, the Novena Mass, of um, what's the feast all about? You know, and I, I gave Father Vinny great credit because on Hoboken Talks podcast, you can still see it on YouTube, uh, he gave a great interview that explained what the feast is all about. And uh, really, when it comes down to it, it's about faith, it's about family, it's about tradition. And so uh, it, it's always very moving to, for me as, as an outsider now, but I, I feel like I'm an honorary member now after nine years, but not growing up with the feast, to see the, the, the faith of, of the born and raised Hoboken folks and all those who have been transplanted and have embraced the feast. Because it's, uh, it, it is, it's, it, it goes through time, it goes through generations, it goes through, uh, class and race and color and, and even religion, the, the beauty of, of this feast. And um, the sense of, of, of family really hits me hard. And like what Monsignor, uh, when Bishop Studeris was saying in his homily, think of our loved ones today in a very special way, and the kindness and the goodness that came through them that we received, that's really what, what being a saint is all about, huh? to, to, to share the love of Christ in very simple ways. And many times it begins in our families and like ripples in a pond, it goes out, right, to touch all of society. But, uh, but it, I think today represents the best of, of tradition that we need to hold on to, you know? And I, I, I raised up one of our examples of tradition and family of Mary Pepe. Mary Pepe, she's, Mary, she, 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 tell her later. Mary Pepe's 99 years old, okay? So... Out, out of the 111 St. Anne feast days, she's been here for 100, because the first one, she was in her mama's belly, okay? <laughs> and so, uh, this is what today's all about. So Mary's here, her daughter's here, uh, her grandchildren, I don't know if they're here, 
not today, but her great-grandchildren also. I mean, so we have five generations of, of people who have held on to the faith and passed it on. And that's what, that's what this day is all about. That, that's what the saints are all about. God works through human vessels, through us, to share his love and his goodness and his truth. And we're called to be the ones who are like, you know, missionaries of that love and, and, and truth and, and goodness, to serve and love one another. And, and so we, we see it uh, shining forth on, on the families that are here today and the many generations. And I know there's, there's some babies here for their first St. Anne's Feast, and right there, I see. And there's some, there may be even some babies in the womb who are here for their first feast too. So, uh, so keep the tradition going, right? It's, it's a good thing. And, uh, and for those who maybe who aren't here and who you wish to were here, uh, keep on praying for them. And th for those who aren't here physically, like Marie, uh, this feast day gives us hope too. Because the whole sense of the communion of the saints. So not, they're not just here today present in our memories, but they're here today present through the Spirit. Right? The, the, the Spirit of the living God that unites us all together. And one last thing, one last thing. I can't help myself. I, I, I want to just thank the, the city you know, also for, for all the support they've shown us. Um, uh, outgoing... Um, Police Chief Ken Ferranti was, has been so good for, to us over the years. And uh, you know, the, the city workers who will keep the things so clean and going like that and everything, the city, the police department who you know, we hire for, for security. Uh, without you guys, we really couldn't do it either. So I, I want to extend my heartfelt thanks to you. And, uh, you know, and I think the feast is good for Hope Open. The feast is good for Hoboken, right? Because it's not just about family, blood families, not just about parish family, but it's about, you know, our community family. It's about our, our, our human family, that, you know, the values of, of, of faith and tradition and love and service and mercy and goodness, uh, that's what, that should be what unites us together, right? And if you walk through the streets during the feast that are packed, you're going to see people of every race, every color, every faith, every different kind of financial, you know, status or whatever, and, and everybody's smiling, and everybody's eating, right? And everybody's hugging. I mean, it's just a, it's an awesome thing. So, you know, I, as I thank the city and, and for all the good that they do, I hope that you could uh, maybe recognize that we, we appreciate that, and, and we, you're all part of our family too. And so any good that we can do for the feast for this community, we, we feel blessed and privileged to do that. Amen. And once again, please uh, join me. Uh, Bishop Gregory Studeris is a, a longtime parish priest, a pastor. Um, he has the heart of a shepherd. I, he gets embarrassed when I say that. Uh, he, he puts the, the, the needs of the people first and the needs of his priests first. And uh, he, he's a blessing for us in Hudson County. So, Bishop, once again, thank you for being with us. Continue blessings to you. Wait, 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 wait. Don't get so close. I will be briefer than him. Pastors think they get the last word. Very simple. You deserve words of congratulations. Number one, for the faith that brings you together for being people of concern for one another to build a community, and for after that hiatus that you have held to your heritage and are choosing to make sure it continues on, as Father said. Congratulations and many blessings to you. Can I put it on now? The Lord be with you. With your Bow your heads and pray God's blessing. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Amen. We go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please join us in singing Dell'Aurora to Sorgi Più Bella. I'll wait right here.
Tu as frotté al cor. 